Did you know your Android phone might be scanning your private photos right now without ever asking for permission? And no, this isn't clickbait. This is real. The app has a name, and you probably didn't even know it was there. This invisible app was installed quietly on Android phones in 2024. It doesn't show up on your home screen, it doesn't have a logo, it doesn't even notify you when it starts running. But here's the weird part. It scans photos. Not all of them, but the ones you send or receive through certain messaging apps, like Google Messages. Still sounds creepy? It gets more complicated. Let's break it down. It's called Android System Safety Core, a system-level service created by Google. According to Google, the app is designed to protect users, especially minors, from receiving or sending explicit images through text messages. So, it scans for things like nudity. When it detects something sensitive, it blurs the image and shows a warning before letting you open it. Sounds useful. But there's something more important to it. Unlike many services that send your data to cloud servers, Safety Core scans everything locally. That means your private photos never leave your device. No uploads, no transfers, and no external servers. Everything stays on your phone. Which should be comforting, right? But here's the issue. Most users never asked for it. They never chose to install it. It just showed up, pre-installed or delivered silently through system updates. And unless you dig deep into your settings or your system apps list, you'll never even know it's there. There's no notification, no permission prompt, no easy way to turn it off. <sighs> so the big question becomes this. If it's designed to protect you, why hide it? Here's where it gets important. If you're a parent with kids using Android, this app could be doing a great job silently keeping them safe from inappropriate content. But if you're someone who values complete control over your device, if you don't like system-level tools that operate without your knowledge, if the idea of a photo scanning service, even a local one, makes you uncomfortable, then you might want to know how to limit it or remove it. But is that even possible? Technically, yes. You can try to uninstall it, but it's not easy. It's tied to Google Play services, which means every time your phone updates, it may come back. You might also lose some functionality in apps like Google Messages. So even if you manage to disable it, it might just sneak back in again. There's a better approach. If you're concerned about privacy, here's what you can do instead of uninstalling it. So, go to your device settings. Here in the search bar, type Android System Safety Core and open it. In the permission section, if you can, open it and restrict all permissions. As you can see on my phone, I cannot do it. So, for my phone, it is better to fully uninstall this app by clicking the uninstall option below. And if you want even more privacy, you should turn off access to your photos or camera, if possible. You should also try to use alternative messaging apps that don't integrate with it. And most importantly, stay informed. Because knowing what's running on your phone is half the battle. So let me tell you this. Safety Core is not spyware, and it doesn't send your data to Google. It is meant to help. But when a feature is installed silently, runs in the background, and interacts with your personal content, you deserve to know about it. If this freaked you out a little, that's okay. Drop a comment if you found Safety Core on your phone or if you've had a weird experience with it. And if you want a full tutorial on how to remove it or alternative messaging apps that don't integrate with it, let me know down below. This app may be scanning your photos, but now you know how to scan your system. Stay safe. Stay informed. See you in the next one.